Okay. Uh, here we have Volkswagen Polo. No headlights. And uh, normally it could be a fuse. Um, check your bulbs, obviously, make sure they're all okay. Check the fuse, and then this little baby um, here. The sun's come out, so it's a bit uh, glary. Anyway, this uh, switch here is normally pushed right in, but I, I pulled it out. It's quite sticky, they're stiff sometimes. So anyway, you push, to get it out, you push that in and you turn it towards the side light bit. So it's pushed in and turned to the right. And then you should be able to pull the whole unit out. He's actually slipped back out. Sometimes that happens. If you have trouble, there is a panel you can take off, which is under the steering wheel. Put your hand up in behind. That's <laughs> And once it's in that position, if you're having trouble, just push it and out it comes. Then on the back, you have um, a big plug, which you push in these two here. There. And I'm trying to do it with one hand, but not successfully, because I'm holding the camera. There we go. Now, uh, you've got numbers. I don't know whether you can see this. I'll let it focus a minute. Right. So, what you do, that's on one side, and then turn it over, you'll find, you'll find another set of numbers. Focus again, and here we have uh, number two, and number seven, and you short circuit that, <coughs> as it were, so you get yourself a piece of um, lead, like this and sorry about the quality of this well, I'm doing it on my phone and for some reason the phone is not focusing properly I'll put it on auto focus that might make it a bit better anyway there we go so basically you short circuit the two, as it were, you put a short across there, so um, let me just uh, wind these up a bit cleaner, a minute, and then all you do is put the lead into, oh god, dropped it, into two, without shorting anything else out. It's hard to do this with a thing. So you touch that one. Uh, ignition on. And you just put it into number seven. And sure enough, if the headlights come on, which they have done, um, you can uh, you can see it shining on the car there. If if the headlights come on, it's it's your switch is basically the fault. So you've checked your headlight bulbs, um, and you've uh, checked your fuses. Um, you can use an ohms meter to make sure there's um, power at the headlights if you want to double check. But if there's no headlights on both and the bulbs are perfectly okay. Um, then come back to the fuse box, check your fuse box, and then um, you, you um, remove the switch as I showed you. And like I say, there is a panel just under here, um, which uh, pops out, and you can put your hand up in behind uh, to the hole and just give it a shove through, because sometimes they are a bit sticky. Um, this is the... Uh, this is the unit. Let's see if we can auto oh, oh, focus. Because oh, let me do that. Okay. Awful. Let's try 
try not to waste too much time fiddling with this. But terrible. So that's the actual barcoding on it, and that's the switch, and that's what you will need. Once you've got the switch, plug it all back in, and it should be Bob's your uncle. Okay, thanks for watching the video. Sorry it's been a bit of a, a pain, but um, yeah, there you have it. And the simple way, like I said, just before I go, just to remind you, um, with it set in the zero position, push down and twist to the right. And then that turns around and releases the things that stick out to clamp it in. Now you can pull it out or, like I say, put your hand in and push it out with your hand if you have trouble pulling it. Because sometimes they don't come out very easily. Okay, thank you.